Your Majesty. I think my past is haunting our children. Well, what are you talking about? What did you do in the past that you are not supposed to do? You know, when people are in love, they do crazy things, forgetting that their past will come haunting them, even when they don't expect it. Talking about past, uh, and why do you think that it has anything to do with the issues on the ground? When I was a teenager, there's this young guy I was in love with. We were so much in love that we took an oath. It was a blood oath. We vowed never to leave each other until I met you, fell in love with you, and I forcefully broke that yoke. And I am sure he's not happy with me. So, how does that connect to? the issue of my son and the princess. My lord, he might be angry with me and lay the cause on me and my generation. Please, I beg you, permit me to look for this young man and apologize. Let me beg him to forgive me. Please, my lord. If I say no, you continue hurting yourself, thinking that you are the cause of the whole problems. If seeing that man is an option to clear yourself from this notion, then you have my permission. But the uh, guards, of course, and the maids will accompany you. <sighs> Thank you, my lord. Thank you so much. I am slightly relieved. Thanks for your understanding. Your Majesty, I hope I have done nothing to be summoned like this. No. But most. Instead, I was the one that wronged you. You know we were still in love when I forcefully separated us. We were still very much in love and we were ready to be together. Please, my dear, I am here to ask you a sincere question. And I want you to give me a sincere answer. Please. Did you lay a course on me? or my children for causing you pain? No, 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 my majesty. Not at all. It is true that I was hurt and thought about causing you, but when I heard you were engaged to a prince to become a crown princess, I knew you were destined for bigger purpose than me. And taking an oath of everlasting love or say this foolishness. I forgive you a long time ago, Your Majesty. I am a commoner. You are a subject who is only married with grown up children. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I am very much relieved now. Oh, thank you. I, I, I feel so relieved. 
Now that I know that you have let go of the past, uh, may God bless you. Yes, Thank you so much. Okay. You may leave now. Judging from your expression, uh, things didn't turn out the way you expected. Good news or bad news? Good news, Your Majesty. Okay. All these years, he had forgiven me and understood that we are destined to go our separate ways and made peace with that knowledge. He didn't cause me nor my children. Really? That's fine. But you're still sad. My lord, I was hoping that it's all my fault. But thank God today I could fix it. It's still not my fault. I think someone is punishing us. Or is it that the sins of the parents is being visited on the children? How do we know the exact sin that our children are paying for? If that's the case, the chief priest would have told us about it. Your Majesty, I never knew a day would come when I would question the abilities of the chief priest. Are you sure he still hears from the gods? What? Do they still favor him? Because I'm beginning to question all his words. Queen, are you implying that you're losing faith in the gods? Without them, we wouldn't be where we are today. You don't need to give up and stop pressurizing yourself. There must be a solution at the end. As much as we want them to be together, we should also not undermine the power of faith. If the fact wasn't there in the first place, they won't be together. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. I really appreciate it. My daughter, Yes, Your Majesty. We heard what happened between you and your friend and how the found ring did not still fix your problem. That is why we came to see you. My princess, you know you can always come home to breathe a different air. You don't have to stay here risking your life to defeat this force. Mother, I understand your concerns. But you see, the truth is I must do what I have to do. She really did hurt me. She dated the prince and hid the truth from me. And then she went ahead and held onto the secret ring. Why? To think I thought she was a well-wisher, but no, her heart is dark. She is against my love. I understand that you feel disappointed and betrayed. Yes, I am disappointed. Don't you think if you had known that your best friend dated your fiance, you wouldn't have given him your heart freely? You will feel some sense of responsibility and respect to your best friend by not dating her ex. Mother, are you saying that she did nothing wrong? I'm saying she had her reasons, though it appears bad. But nobody is perfect. Nobody. She made a bad decision. Please, 
Forgive your best friend. I know how much you love her. Please. I will try. Oh, fine. I, I will forgive her, but I'll never trust her again. Don't. Trust is a burden. You stand the chance of losing any time you try to trust. Even if it is given free of charge. My daughter, I would rather advise you listen to your mother. Disregard anything that will weigh you down now. Disregard it. Did you get that? Yes, Father. We must leave now, but be very careful. Let's go. Thank you. So how's the building at the market going? No, oh, very well and good. The workers are working tirelessly to meet up with the commissioning date. That's good news. Um, they have to work harder. A lot has been invested in that project. Of course, of course. I don't know if it's me or if you look tired. Are you having difficulty sleeping? Well, uh, I would say, lately I've been worried. And I always worry each time I'm not able to save the princess. I put her in danger any time I go close to her. And right now I can't even reach out on the phone. I feel so bad about it. Uh, my prince, you have to calm down. Hmm? I understand your fear. But the princess I know loves you so much. She loves you so much that she can't leave you just because you are unable to come to her rescue when she needs your help. Okay, take for the case of um, you and uh, Berry Bay, your ex. That could have broken the relationship or even destroyed the trust. But look at where you guys are now. Steve, I totally understand your point, but you know, I love the princess so much that I don't know what I'm going to do if something happens to her. <laughs> you worry so much. Nothing will happen to her. By the way, where is the princess? Did you tell her about the dream? No, I couldn't tell her. She's going through a lot right now, and I do not want to add to her problems. Mm. She's going to see her parents. She needs some time alone. She, she needs a different environment, you understand? Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, that's a nice one. Um, but really, really, I think you need to give yourself a break. I mean, you deserve it. You worry so much. You are the one who told me that you don't believe in spiritualities and, and you're giving this much thought to a mere dream. You're letting it weigh you down. I mean, it's written all over you. You deserve some peace. You deserve some... I mean, give yourself a break. Oh. I 
Nawa radio without battery. Now me, information minister in oh, this palace. Oh, mo. please, what is the latest? Hurry up with the money. Where they go? Eh? Bring money. Without money, I can't talk. Really? For where the Please, so make sure that as I am paying you, you are giving me the right information. Hurry this up. This money is not for. Anyhow, I can't pay for nonsense. Uh, I hope you will give me latest information. Latest one. Please bring money. My radio doesn't talk without money. What about you? Am I begging you? If you don't want to bring your money, you get out. You zoos out. Let me give this people the authentic information that I have. I hope water from that your stupid thing. No touch that money where you won't give me. Wiki, they smell for here. I hope you know, Wiki, they look me like that. See, look. I know what I passed through for me to get this money. I hope this news is a legit news. I'm not begging you. If you don't want to listen, you out. Then hold me and say what you heard now, eh? The suspense is killing us. Okay. Relax. You all have paid good money for this information. And you trust me, I am not a radio without battery. Here it goes. You remember that girl that came here from Obodo Yibo, the princess friend? Yes, 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 yes. Um, You remember? Yes. Of course. That same girl that came from Obodo Yibo, do you know she was dating our prince before? Yes, she kept it away from the princess, her friend, that she knows our prince before, and they were 18. That is bad of her. Very wicked. Could that be the reason the princess cannot go closer to the prince? Because anytime she tries to do so, his heart keeps failing, like he begins to suffocate. So we thought, solution at last. But then again, the princess wore the ring, the prince wore the ring, they came close together, and the prince started suffocating. He wanted to die. Hey! So it was not even the best friend that caused it. It is still not the ring. What is forcefully keeping these people apart? You're asking like you don't know. Who else, if not the princess, is that witchy witchy princess? Huh. Can't you see how she is? Oh, Yibo Pepe, can't you see her eyes? Can't you see the demon in her? There are so many demons in that princess. She has like over 50 you are demons. Screaming. I am not screaming, I'm saying the truth. I am saying the truth so that the gods can hear me. She is the one at fault here. I'm only very concerned about our prince. Mm. I don't want anything to happen to my prince mm. tomorrow. Mm. That witch will just bewitch our prince and mm. my prince will just go away from me. Why is she so personal? Look at you. Look at you. Mm. Anyway, see, I only paid for a factual news, not personal opinion. See, one day they will cut off this your head and this your mouth that is swearing like a rain will close. You will stop talking. <laughs> I don't see, 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 you know what? I want all of you now to go out of this place. But before them, why may I go Are you stupid? Eh? After the information I've given to oh, you, uh, you must be sister, stupid. Sister, please give me my money. It's not what you're Give me my money. Give me my money. No, give me my money. No, give me my money. No, if you give touch me. Give me my money. My prince. Sorry, can I have a word with you? Yeah, sure. My prince. I want you to know that we are all worried, especially me. I'm so, so worried about you and everything that is happening. I always have you in my prayers. I pray to our gods morning, afternoon and night to please provide solution to this problem. Thanks for your prayers. <laughs> Thank you, my prince. Um, my prince, <laughs> don't look at me like a common maid. Oh. I, I know I'm a maid, but my prince, I am very, very gifted. I have spiritual gifts. I, I, you see all this thing that is happening between you and the princess? I know what is causing it. 
Eh, I know the, the cause of the separation. I'm very serious. I know. Hey, before you proceed, I'd like to ask you a question. <laughs> Have you not been instructed to stay away from every conversation that has to do with the royal household? In other words, didn't the king instruct you to mind your business in this palace? Hey, I don't trust you. You talk too much. Yeah. And I can see a lot of desperation in your eyes. Now listen and listen good. Keep your distance away from me. That's an order. My prince. See, my prince, it's, it's not what you think. I care so much about you. My prince, look at your face now. You're not happy. Get out. You, my prince, you, I, I care about your happiness. Please. I said get out. My prince, he look, just look at hey, you. Hey, will you, will you get out? I need to take care of I you. I said leave. I'll buy you very well. You deserve it. Are you all right? Yes, my prince. Now leave. You're looking very sick. I don't like you. My prince. Are you out of your mind? Yes, sir. I see you fired another shot at press and you missed. Yeah. How did you know? <laughs> you monitoring spirits. Whoa. Can't you just mind your business? I don't want to worry about it. It's like someone deceived you that uh, Prince will see you as a woman, but Prince won't see you as a woman. No, really? <laughs> yes. But you have been on my case. You have been chasing me everywhere because you know I'm a beautiful woman. Uh, uh, it's because my mother appeared to me in my dream. My mother told me that you are my wife. You are the soul of my soul, the spirit of my spirit. In fact, the backbone of my backbone. Understand? See, I want you to come. Come, let me love you. Let me love you unconditionally. See, I want to ask you a question. Uh, how can you be loving a man who is ready to risk his heart attack to another woman? Huh? In fact, to touch, he cannot touch. Don't touch me while speaking that nonsense. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. But he is dying. Hmm? He is dying. He has been forcing himself even to touch in that dying condition. See, have you seen a man like that? Let me ask you this question. Which woman will not like a man like that? Who is ready to risk his life because of love? See, let me tell you. I am like a prince. I am like a prince. I am like that. I can risk my life because of love. <laughs> yes. But I have a problem. I have a serious problem. And I want to ask you this question. Now, any man who desires to have you, will die on timely death because your mouth, your mouth is ready to put that person to die suddenly. It's a shortcut. It's a shortcut to have fire. It's a short, oh yeah, oh yeah, love you. oh wow. Yeah? But despite all distance, despite all distance, I have a good news for you. I have a beautiful news for you. Do you know what? I would like to take the risk. I would like to manage you. I want you to come and marry me. Come. <laughs> I want to marry you. I want to have you as my own wife. <laughs> my mother will be happy wherever you are. Look at the way you're laughing like a gorilla. That is me. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> you think with all these things you're spilling uh, that I, Shata, uh, will settle for you, I will never. Huh? And let me now warn you, mm. stay away from me. Uh, are you hearing me? Um, stay away from me. Not because we're in the same place, you feel we're the same class, we're not. Don't ever, 
Did you hear me? Uh, see, see, I'm ready to do everything. In fact, I'm ready to kill, to destroy, to in fact, to vandalize, to make sure that I win your heart. I win your heart. I will give you my own heart. You Our heart. <laughs> you will never hurt my heart. Huh? And there is nothing you will do to ever win my heart. Did you hear me? It's yours. Stay away from me. I am warning you. See, take it easy. You oh. have to take it easy. Oh. I am burning. Burning one night. That is burning first. You have to love me because my mother revealed you to me in my dream. You will not run away from me too. I <laughs> could who are you? Please, 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 don't, don't, don't come close, don't come close. Hey, Speak. No. Huh? Don't look at me. Hey. Oh, hey, I don't stop now, stop, stop, don't come now. Is your wife come? Oh, I am the one. Hey. Who needs to start with us? Hey, hey. Sagan. I am here to take your body. See, 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 uh, this pala doesn't belong to me at all, at all. It belongs to king and the queen. If, if you need sacrifice, ask them, not to me. I am ordinary megat. I am ordinary megat. Huh? What are you doing here? Eh? Were you not supposed to be at the gate? Wait, oh. Do not tell me you slept here. Uh, 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 yes, sir. I slept here. You did? Yes. You did? Yes. I, I slept there. That I'm serving the royal house doesn't mean that they can use my head, my soul, and my spirit for sacrifice. <laughs> What's mm. this one saying? Eh? Do, do you have a high fever? So, uh, Shita, Shita, you read it without battery, so you didn't tell them. You didn't break the latest news for them. That there is this particular ghost, a ghost maid that always parades herself in the night, seeking for whom to consume, seeking for whom to use as a sacrifice. Yes! In this palace? Yes. What are you saying? <laughs> a ghost in this palace? I saw it with my two naked eyes. In fact, with my two corrosive eyes. You see, the king and the queen need to confess. They need to do confession. They need to tell us what happened to that innocent man. That man has so to be restless, even in death. Out of your mouth. You see this your mouth? Today, your mouth is about to put you in great danger. Look at this fool. Boniface, you don't have sense. You want no sense. Eh? You're senseless. So, small common ghost is what you're running. <laughs> Help me, oh. They are killing me, oh. Like foul. <laughs> so, 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 you, 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 you saw me. I, I was screaming, mommy, mommy. So, don't tell me that you saw the ghost too. Eh? Next where I'm from. I was the ghost. It was just a prank. Mama, yes. I wanted to know. Come on, me, what? Oh, be not wala. But no one came when you don't have anything, and you'll be saying, "Shita, I love you. I want to be your man. I can protect you." And this is the way you will protect me. A common ghost. You're running, calling mommy, mommy, like foul. So that stupid prank was your doing, right? So you made me to endanger the entire royal house by leaving my gate unguided. Okay, wait. Huh? I don't even know why they gave you this uniform. 
in the first place to be in this palace. Oh, you think you're, you're qualified to be wearing this uniform? You're not. Come on, come on, ghost, you're running. Come on, Branky, you're not. What's up? No, 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 no. How will you even guide this royal home? It's when you were busy shouting, crying, crying and shouting. He was busy crying and shouting. Somebody that said, I love you. I will take care of you. I will be your man. I will do this one. I will fight the whole world. I will do this one. Just small prank. I just wore white. But it doesn't mean. Turn my back. Even if it's you, you will run. Eh? But he's still a man. Then you see. It doesn't make you less a man. It doesn't give him a chance. He gave him a chance. If I come to school, I will be his unlucky. He gave him a chance. My wife embarked on now. A journey to the past, a vast singular action got me thinking. A journey to the past? I don't understand. What do you mean by that? Oh, do you mean a walk through the memory lane? Yes, and the thought of atoning. You know, that was very brave of her. That uh, made me to admire her the more. She thinks that the children might be suffering from their sins of their father. So she thought of who she might have offended in the past and reached out for reparations. Hmm. That's very, very thoughtful of her. Are you thinking in the same plane? Yes, because we may have hurt someone in the past and out of slight, the person cost our generation. Maybe that is the forces that is playing right now. I guess we should take the walk down memory lane and see how we can atone for the past mistakes. We should think deeply about this. I agree with you on this. Let's do that. Let's do next. Your Majesty. It's obvious that your chief priest is doing all humanly possible to unravel this mystery and solve the problem. Just like the old saying, two good heads are better than one. So I brought my own chief priest so that both of them will put their resources together, put their heads together and bring a lasting solution to this. I appreciate the King of Great one, you're welcome. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. You see, when trees falls upon trees, first, the topmost must be removed. The very reason you are summoned to demystify the mysteries in the lives of the prince and the princess. Please, be in your good spirit to tell us what you truly see. Hmm. Your Majesty, a bottle of cocaine is so fine. Man, I try to put the money here, but I don't know. The cloud, the dark cloud between them, have extended, <laughs> and I sense the rage of the power behind their separations. I sense it. No, bro, no. Come on, dear. It is growing so desperately. Growing so desperately. I'm not joking now, Mario. No, we are. I don't know who we are. Oh, my own. The unwavering resolve of the lovers angers it the more. It worsens the situation. It makes it worse on daily basis. And nothing can be done. Its determination deepens more and more. Nothing can be done. For no mortal questions the gods. Oh, wise one, this is profanation. 
Are you saying that this that clouds are indispensable? Yes, Your Majesty. It is. The two lovers must keep to their distance. On no account must they come to each other until the solution is found. Hmm. Be warned. Social distance angers the force, the more. Do yourselves the good you can. They must maintain that gap until solution is found. Then go to work, both of you. Do everything humanly possible to unravel this mystery. Find out where this force is coming from. Because we cannot continue to identify with what we cannot see. The deity must identify itself. Go to work. Consider it done. I feel reassured seeing that um, a chief priest from your kingdom has the same opinion with the chief priest of my kingdom. The gods are one and the same. And the gods are not authors of confusion. Before the gods will present this particular force that we're talking about, the force must be ready to present itself. Well, while we are waiting for the gods to speak, what about exploring other possible reasons? You know, we talked about putting our work down the middle of the lane. And the thought of uh, Lady Maria popped in. Well, considering the fact that we married different women all together, I don't think that would be a problem. Uh, that. You know, we both fell in love with Lady Maria. <laughs> she gave her heart to you. But because of the friendship we both shared, the thought that you were being a snitch, considering the fact that you knew that I had fallen in love with her, then you abandoned her into helpless loneliness. Have you thought of that? Yes, I remember that she felt hurt as at that time. She felt we use our hearts and abandoned her recklessly. But my king, do you think she cost us? Or do you think that is why our children are suffering today? Nothing is certain. But it is worth looking out for. We need to scout out where Lady Maria could be. So we invite her. Let's have a tete a tete to know if uh, she is pained still as a result of what we did to her in the past. So how are we going to do that? Remember, we both fell in love with her when we are not kings yet. We were boys then. How do we go about that? I'll fix it. I have someone who can search for anything anyone, even to the very ends of the earth. You will fix it? I will. Then do that. You don't look well. You look pale. Have you not been feeding well? You actually look the same. And you're worried about me? Yes, I am worried about you. I am worried because my existence next to you only endangers your life. I've been having a series of nightmares lately. In these nightmares, you... You choked. You, you, you choked and never got better. Sometimes I feel like we let our fears become reality. 
You need to slow down. Do not let what the chief priest told you get to you. Nothing is going to happen to me. Only if I go away. Please, my prince. I need to stay away from you. I agree. I, I, I miss... I miss kissing you, touching your face. Being like a puppy around you. But I have to go. What's stopping you? Why are you holding back? If you truly miss kissing me, then come kiss me. I mean, I can endure a chest pain in exchange for a kiss from you. Come on. This is not some sort of a joke. This is serious. I mean, you shouldn't be treating this with kids' gloves. Don't ever consider risking your life for a mere kiss. This is no child's play. I think you worry too much. And we need to stop having this conversation about you leaving me. You're not leaving me. I don't want you to leave me. You're my hope. You're my happiness. You mean everything to me. I always want to be in your arms. This is mysterious. So mysterious. So, any update from the medical expertise overseas? Yes. I have been examined and he said my heart is in perfect condition. Oh. I have nothing to worry about. That's nice. Okay, so now, are we going to give spirituality a trial? Because anything that science cannot explain is a mystery. Steve, I hate to confront what I do not understand. I have been working so hard to find love. And now that I have found love, something is trying to separate me from the love of my life. That's weird. Okay. What do you intend to do? Do you think you need an exorcist? Uh, why is that? Because you think I'm possessed? <laughs> of course not. The spiritualist said, there's a dark cloud between you and your lover. And this could be a demon. And you know the exorcist can help. Steve. Okay. I know I said I am going to give spiritualism a chance. But I still do not believe in dark clouds. I feel like it's complete nonsense. It doesn't make sense to me. So let's talk about something more important. <laughs> as much as you want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was a gist. Mm -hmm. With this food, you two have donated. I will give you the latest gist. Mm -hmm. This one, eh? Is Genge. Oh, Bunge. <laughs> yes, yes, to us. Are they going to be using us for sacrifice? <laughs> Since this issue began, is that your fear? Of course. Maybe they might even ask us to leave the palace. Kick us out like nobody for the fear that we know too much. Don't you think so? <laughs> and you think they will kick you out without cutting off your tongues? Hey, that means. They will cut off our tongues before they kick us out of the palace. Of course. Yes, you know they have such power. Honestly, they can hey. do it though. But that's exactly what they will do. Because they know if they allow you to leave the palace, you will go out wagging those tongues. <laughs> yes. <sighs> but anyway, 
Will you people allow me to give you the gist or I should continue eating my Please talk to us now. now. Eh? <laughs> Sorry for that, Bryson. Just talk to us. <laughs> give us the gist. Okay. It goes this way. The king and the queen went down the memory lane. You know, the kings and the queen thought that their children are facing problems from what happened in their past life or the sins they committed long time ago. But shockingly, it reveals that they are innocent. It's just a force. Hey, this is a scary force. Very strong force. Yes. What does it want? <laughs> are you asking? No. Does it mean you don't have eyes to see? Anyway, the force wants I, Sheeta, to become the next queen of this great kingdom. Sheeta, uh, 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 hmm. did I donate this food for you to start talking about what you're about to say now? I wonder. Does it mean you don't want me to complete the gist? Please go ahead. There is a maiden who was so much in love with our prince. The maiden was so much in love with the prince that everything she had and everything she wanted was the prince. But she was not royalty and they wanted the prince to marry royalty. So the maiden died. Why grieving for our prince? And then the maiden now is fighting for justice. That is why the maiden is sending a force. And that force is our prince must marry a maid. And that maid is I. Shita. Can you see? That is why all these problems has been happening. Hey! Oh, I came to inform you about the things at the court. What is it? What is it? What's wrong? What's wrong with you? She was crying. What happened? I can't say. Did someone do something bad to her? We need to find out. Why, why was she crying? Let's find out. Let us stop assuming and find out what is wrong with her. Yes, okay. let's go. The distance. Oh. Let me do the talking. What happened, my dear? Were you planning to kill yourself? Why did you do something so drastic? I thought the coldness of the water would wash away my frustration. wrong. 
Can I at least come close to you? No, my prince. Who oh, you shouldn't, my prince? I want to give you a hug. No. I endanger any man who comes close to me. I endanger every young man's life. What are you saying? You're not responsible. The forces are. This is not your doing. It is my doing, my prince. The forces operate through my body. It is best I leave this place for I cannot be the cause of your death. Dear, what happened today? Why are you sounding this way? Went to the gate to meet with the guard. Upon getting close to him, he began to choke and gasp for breath. Getting close to him endangered his life. What other forces are we searching for? Is it until I kill another man? Please. So you're telling me that she drenched herself under the shower fully clothed? Yes. She thinks she is the problem because she believes she puts everyone in danger, especially young men. But how come all of a sudden she's taking the entire blame? What happened? So Boniface went close to her. Okay. And suddenly he began to react like I usually do anytime I go close to her. Hmm. This is serious. So tell me, do you think there is something in her? Probably a force that tends to snuff life out of every young man that gets close to her. She thinks exactly so, but I have my doubts. I want to believe these things are happening because we're in love with each other. On the other hand, Boniface is just someone who hardly shares a physical proximity with her, so... Boniface the gate man? Yes. Okay, what do you intend to do? Steve, I strongly believe this is a prank. However, I intend to find out what happened that night. Okay. So how do you propose to do that? Good question. You'll go close to the princess. Give her a hug and let's see if something bad happens to you. Yeah? You heard me right. No. Not me and you. Ah, what if I die? Come on now. No, what if I die? I could die. Steve, stop being a child. You're not going to die. <clears throat> Nothing like that is going to happen, okay? You are not sure. Else there won't be need to try. Okay. I'll write down my will. And mm, what else? <sighs> Steve, stop being a child, all right? Stop blowing things out of proportion. Come on, just do this for a friend, an old friend. Whereas this is risky. Now, okay, okay, I will. Hi I'm <laughs> Hell no! Why would you come close? What? What is wrong with you? I was only saying my greetings. Why would you come this close? You can't say your greetings standing there. It's been a while I saw you, my princess. So? Is that why you should hug me? What if someone sees you and I? And then has a misconception of your intention? Don't do that again. Then that wouldn't be our fault. 
We're not responsible for what people think based on what they see. Meanwhile, how have you been? I'm very well, thank you. <laughs> it's alright. Please don't do that next time. It's okay, my princess. Um, sorry. You say. You sent for me. What happened between you and the princess? Ah, nothing happened, no. Nothing happened. I swear to God, who made me? Nothing happened, my prince. You almost choked to death, didn't you? Uh, are you okay? Uh, yes. Oh, you care for me. Ah, I am 100% okay. I am all right. Yes. Uh, um, my prince, we all understand that whenever princess comes close to any man, that person will automatically fall sick. You can easily testify to that. In fact, I become better when she left me. Yes, from now bounce. What can hang about it? Yes. <laughs> so how do we explain that of Steve? He went close to the princess and nothing happened to him. Are you telling lies? Hi. Uh, hi. Uh, 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 my prince, please. If you can spare me, if you can not punish me, I will tell you the whole truth. Uh, I swear to God. Start talking. How dare you touch me? <laughs> Thank you. I, I, I know it. That there was attraction between both of us. See how you are blushing. <laughs> Who is blushing? You're blushing? Which attraction? Eh? I was only shocked that you, 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 you barged in on me. Are you stupid or something? But I was very, very extremely happy. When you told me that I should come and meet you here. Um, I want to ask you. Have you accepted my proposal? Will you marry me? Will you be my soulmate? <laughs> yes. Will you marry me? Just answer me. It's very obvious, Inweruche. You don't have sense. I have made it very clear to you that you can never have my love. It takes a lot. I'm very expensive. You can have me. For you to have my love, there is something you must do. And you must perform very well. If you don't perform very well, count me out. You can never see me. See, see, see. Uh, I want you to tell me whatever you want me to do. I will do it as long as you will love me. In fact, who do we need to care? Because I'm ready to pieces anybody right now. Close your mouth. You're not killing anybody. You talk too much. Oh, I don't see. like talking too much. Hmm. Eh? I'm an action woman. I don't like it. Now listen. What See, is uh -huh. there is something you must do okay. if you want to win my heart. I don't like talking too much, you know it. Uh -huh. I want you to pretend to be dying anytime that witchy witchy princess comes close to you. Huh? What is it? Uh, 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 look, uh, the king commanded us that anything involves in this royal house that that thing should not be our business. I want to ask you a question. Why are you risking your life by involving yourself? Eh? Curious. Hmm. That is why I said, eh? You don't have sense. You see why you can't be my man. You can never be my man because you have no sense. See, let me tell you. If you must do this thing, eh? Except you don't want me. 
If you want me, you must. If you don't want me, just get out. I'm not begging you. No, 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 no. no. See, see, see. I, I, if, if I do it, you become my love. See, huh? I want you to do this thing. Don't you love your prince? You don't want your prince to leave. That girl needs to leave this palace. Don't you get it? She's a witchy witchy princess. She has so many demons in her. Hey. Hey. She has demons in her. Hey. She needs to leave. Hey. We need to protect hey. the future king of this kingdom. This is our great kingdom. Our prince is so cute to have such a demon as a wife. You have to do this thing for him. Oh. Except you're not serious. You get out. Uh, uh, I'm going to do it. As long as... What the first way? In fact, do you know what? I will do it with one condition. I want you to come and tap here. Alanapogi. Eh? Alanapogi. Get out. <laughs> you look very serious. Get out. Yes. <laughs> I will stop. I will stop. I will I will How dare you? Well, the question should have been, how stupid can you be to have made her go against the instructions of the king? Are you out of your mind? Mm -mm -mm. Uh, my, my prince, uh, uh, you risk your heart by coming close to a woman that can kill you. I am a man, you are a man. We do understand what men can do for love. Yes, my prince. Really? Yes. So are you trying to compare my situation with the princess to your worthless relationship with Shita? Are you aware she's taking advantage of you? Are you aware she is taking advantage of you for selfish reasons. Hey. Call her for me. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, guys. You asked to speak with me. Are you okay? I should ask you that. Are you okay? Listen, I know it's been a, it's been a crazy time. You've been stressed out this past uh, few weeks, days. But don't let it get to you. Just relax. I feel everything's going to be fine, all right? I don't think so. I don't think that it will get better soon. I endanger the lives of every man around me. Being close to them kills them. And what surprises me the most is that you are not believing any of it. Lily, I understand how you feel. I mean, I know I get sick anytime I come around you. I mean, I choke and I gasp for breath and all of that. But trust me, it's not your fault. There's something behind it. And what you experienced with one of the gods was fake. It wasn't real. Yes, I watched you closely. After Stephen gave you a hug, I expected something bad to happen to him, but nothing happened to him. So I became a bit curious. I confronted the god and he opened up to me and said it was a prank. Hold on a second. Are you saying that Steve hooking me was your making? Well, it's not entirely so, but it was deliberate. I, I saw you, I watched you closely. You blamed yourself for everything happening. I had to, you know, make it a point of duty to get to the end of the matter. Yeah, and trust me, there's something behind everything. Something bigger than both of us. 
and I'm sorry. I mean, I, 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 I didn't like the way you felt about holding yourself responsible for everything that happened or that's happening. But I still, I still, I still think it is best that I go away. Oh. You heard the chief priest. You heard what he said. He said, our unwavering resolve, despite the physical separation, still angers the forces involved. You heard this from him. You heard from the horse's mouth. Why are you still keeping me? My love, you can't leave me. Don't even think of that. The life you're trying to save is going to be meaningless without you. And I believe everything is going to be fine. We don't have to worry too much. Please, you're not responsible. I am not responsible. And there's something out there. There's something out there bigger than us. Please.
Thank you. All thanks to you. What happened to me? I, I I slipped. But you caught me. Oh, my prince, you shouldn't have done that. You risked your life. Yes, yes. I, I remember. You tried to fall. I rescued you, yes. Yes, I did. Prince, you shouldn't have done that. You and I know you shouldn't have done that. But wait. Is your life unimportant to you? What if you had broken your head and bled to death? I believed. Ah, that was so close. It is best I leave this palace. Please, my prince, permit me to leave this palace just so we, we stop running into each other and having these casualties. Please, let Princess. me go. Princess, we had an agreement. You promised you will never talk about leaving me again. I tried to warn you about the water on the floor, but the music was too loud. It is in your best interest to stay apart. Today, the prince is not recovered. Despite the fact that the princess stayed away. The dark cloud is getting more furious. Trying to claim the heart of this prince without bringing it back. Let what happened today not repeat itself again until the solution is found. It's okay. Take it. You must use your mind to stay apart. Mon appel est dit à l'un de mon dieu, l'autre là où elle a la boucle à l'élite. Oh, dis-le à moi. Je suis là, 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 je suis Yeah, you doing here? Don't tell me you're hiding. I've been searching everywhere for you, and here you are. What, what, what do you think? Are they going to spare me? Spare you? Did you do anything bad? I was the one who was being the floor when the princess lived 
And as a result, the place almost died. I was mopping the floor, just left to pick his soap. And returned to see Princess screaming for help. I was shocked and confused. I didn't know what to do. And is that why you're, you're panting? Like you did something bad? My dear, you are doing your job. You do your job. As long as that princess remains in this palace, oh, our princess' life will forever be at risk. I don't know what she's still doing here. I am supposed to be the one that the prince should be looking at and taking care of. Not that stupid witchy witchy princess. What are you saying? We are not talking about this now. Are they going to spare me? Spare you? Did you do anything bad? That's what I'm asking you. Ibarado! Eh? The stupid witchy witchy girl that is always parading herself like the princess. Dressing so fine, different heads, different outfits, as if this is a palace. Eh? Why is it that she's not looking? Oh, who is she? Why can't she see? Oh, that fool's up. She did not see that there is water there. She went and sleep to put you in trouble, and you're here talking so that my prince will come close and then he will die. Oh, my dear, it will never work for her. Cheetah, please. <laughs> is he going to be okay? I just want to know. Leave all this long talk. Uh, you don't need to worry yourself about anything. The chief priest has already revived our prince. Hey. He's back to life. I'm the boss. Hey. He's hey. okay now. He's okay. I'm just very paid. That's everything. All my efforts to remove that girl and make the prince see me. Yes. Their love is still very strong. It's paining me. You see that girl? That witchy witchy princess. Ah. Oh. Her time is coming. And that's why you're here, panting. Hey, 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 hey. Biko, come, let's go. You said you woke up and couldn't stop itching? Yeah. I... I woke up from sleep and I began to itch. I'm suspecting skin infection. Oh, no, 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 no. There's nothing like that. Besides the drugs and the ointment I prescribed, I will take care of the itching. Huh? You'll be fine. You'll be fine, my friends. You'll be fine. Your Highness, I beg to leave. take my leave. Okay. You said you woke up and started itching. Yes. Did anything bite you? Or should we look for bed bugs? Look, I can't believe what the, the house is fumigated already. Mom, I had a dream. In that dream, I, I, I had a bath with an old sponge. Yes, and I woke up and began to itch myself. I think something has to be done because I don't feel comfortable anymore. Relax, relax. I will um, call the chief priest. Perhaps he will have a explanation and a message from this. Hi, mom. Son? How are you feeling now? Are you still itching or has the itching subsided? I feel better. 
the medication I got from the doctor is very effective. Mom, I have a question to ask. Did I bait with an old sponge? I used a very familiar one in my dream. An old sponge? Yeah. <laughs> Son, look around. We are royals. We use quality things. Hmm. Why will you bait with an old sponge? When you have a good quality sponge to bait with, a sponge made of a very nice material. Mom, you're right. I can't bait with an old sponge. I'm just afraid because when I begin to itch, it's usually uncontrollable. And it scares me because I'm unable to control myself. The forces are trying to get your attention. I think the chief priest will have an explanation to all this. So, please, do not worry yourself. You'll be alright, okay? Alright, that's fine. I heard your voice from my side. What is this disorderliness for? Um, my father, I, I just had a dream. A dream? Yes, a bad dream. I, I had a, a glass of orange juice in my hand, and I. Uh, uh, I was going to drink it and it turned to blood. What? Yes, and I, as if something was forcing me to drink it. Really? And, and suddenly it turned to blood. Oh. That's not a good sign. The chief priest must hear about this. Son? Are you cold? Uh, what is hot here? Mom, turn, turn it. Turn off the air conditioner. It's turned off already. What's going on? Everywhere is hot. Are you sick? Uh, Son. Mom, turn off the air conditioner, please. It's turned off already. The one close to the dining hall. It's oh. turned off. What's uh, going on? Uh, oh, uh, you're itching? Oh. I can't see it. I can't see any rush. I can't see any rush. Yeah. What? Mom, turn off the air conditioner close to the dining, please. It's turned off. It's, I can see something on you. What's that? What? Did you draw a tattoo? Huh? No. I can see a symbol of love on you. I've oh, never oh, seen this thing before. What does that mean? Love? What, what are you talking about, Mom? I didn't draw anything on my body. Look at it. I think someone put that there. Mom, can you turn off the AC close to the... I said he's turned off. Everywhere is hot. I'm cold. What is going on? Turn off the AC close to the dining. Are you sick? Oh, shit. Ah. This is totally strange. It's very mysterious. I've never liked tattoo my entire existence. I don't intend to have one. So how did he get there? <laughs> I recognize the mark. The mark is from Goddess Azera, the goddess of sacrifice. <laughs> she 
She uses it to mark her own people. Mark her people? Yes. Are you implying that the prince belongs to the goddess? The appearance of that mark shows that the goddess has chosen the prince to be her own and she's not ready to share him with any other woman. Yes. Oh no. This is not happening. That's complete nonsense. Huh? Yes. I, I don't believe what you're saying. I mean, this is a prank. It is obviously a prank. I probably slept off and someone drew this on my body just to make me believe I belong to some goddess. But I do not believe the prank. I don't believe it. It doesn't make sense. Your yeah, Highness, if I may ask you, can you tell me what you've been going through in your dreams and nightmares all these days? Can you tell me? Yeah, you're right. I have... I've had a few bad dreams and <laughs> a series of nightmares. And one of them, I can remember, I had a bath with an old sponge. <laughs> and when I woke up from that dream, I began to itch seriously. I began to itch my body. Yes. That is the goddess calling you. She never wants to show herself. What? what she, yes, the goddess. She is the brain behind everything. What, what does she want? Now that they know she's the one responsible for all this, acquire to know what she wants from us. Your Majesty, I have to go back to the goddess and get her messages and tell you. But you must keep to your distance. When you to Rilu, go in here to Rea, a great reunion rally. You must keep to your distance from the princess. This is another Nordo and Elianozo. Your Majesty, permit me to leave. She my, 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 my only son. No, this is not happening. I know you are overwhelmed with everything going on. All my life, I have never believed in spirits or magic. But here I am. I am compelled to believe I belong to a goddess. My life is out of control. Nothing makes sense to me anymore. For the first time, it is beginning to make sense to me. Now that we have found the forces involved and the one to consult or appease, I think it is best I leave. The chief priest will come up with a solution. And when that is over, I will return. Why are we going over this? I thought we agreed. You will never talk about leaving me anymore. Why are we having this conversation? <sighs> she hid herself all this while. I'm talking about your spiritual lover. My being close to you provokes her. The reason she kept punishing you. So you see, it is best I leave until a permanent solution is found. Look at me. Please. Do not leave me. I want you to stay at least 
Let's hear from the gods. Let us hear from the chief priest. Don't go away, please. It's okay. I will stay and hear what the chief priest has to say about the goddess. Thank you. This looks very scary. I know you don't like tattoos or any form of drawing on your body. So wh wh what's this? Steve, this is a prank. Someone put this here. Someone put this when I was sleeping. But the question is who? And can you imagine the effrontery, the guts, the person hard? opened my door, walked into my room, saw me sleeping, and put this here. This doesn't look like a drawing to me. It looks permanent. In fact, it looks like a birthmark. So, what does this signify? Tell me. According to everyone, it's a permanent mark that connects me with the goddess of sacrifice. In other words, I belong to her and I am not supposed to share her with another woman. Now it's making sense to me. Oh, this is why your heart fails you whenever you come close to your lover. Oh, she's trying to protect her territory. She, she, she's being jealous. I mean, she's punishing you for being unfaithful. <laughs> you see? Steve. I don't believe this is real. I want to believe I'm hallucinating. But just in case I'm not. And let's take for an instance, this entire situation is real. Mm -hmm. And... I belong to the goddess of sacrifice. The question is, what does she want from me, immortal man? I, I must tell you the truth, my prince. The answer is obvious. Because adding to what the chief priest said and the mark on your body, she wants you. She wants you, but the question is, how can you be dating a spirit? I mean, a spirit. Have you thought about so, this? Uh, at this point, I am officially scared. And from the look of things, my prince, you are spiritual, whoever is a jealous type. I don't want to be involved. So let's say I am dating a spirit. Okay. How am I expected to make out with her, kiss her, oh, touch her? Oh. I don't even see this person with my eyes. <laughs> I can't even fathom this. Wise ones, you're welcome. Thank you so much. But so tell us, what did you find? Communion with the deities. <laughs> the goddess is a lover of sacrifice. By sacrifice, I mean a common thing humans can give. Truth. Truth indeed, Your Majesty. She wouldn't ask us to give her anything. Rather, she would put us to test. Just to watch whether the sacrifice, our sacrifices, will attract her attention. And what is the implication of that? Does it mean she wants us to use our own discretion? Is that what it means? 
Nothing is certain about goddess Azazel. We cannot tell if he can be pleased. We have to sacrifice. But that thing that can make her speak. Yes. Oh. But the sacrifices are not the solution, as it were. It's just for her to speak, isn't it? She wants to see how badly you love her. So she is intentionally keeping quiet, watching how you go about it. Oh, wise ones. I suggest that we do not waste time concerning this whole thing. You consult the deities. Suit yourselves. Try. Let us know what they want, the sacrifices that is required. And we're here to provide them. Whatever they need, we will do it just in time. Yes. <laughs> you have to communicate with the gods and get back to you. Nobody can. Yes. I cannot do more even a second again and lay on your toe. Now, more than mother has to go to a hair. Now, I have one more than mother. I don't know as well. And until you do so, Your Majesty, the prince and the princess must stay apart, must keep their distance, they must. And that is not to attract the wrath of the gods, not to anger the goddess, which could lead her into acting rashly. Uh -oh. That is observed. We will do just that. Love is beautiful. It involves the heart. But what we don't know is, no matter how much we love someone. When we lose them, as long as the heart is beating, it goes on to love another. Mother, if this your speech is tilting towards me leaving the prince for another man, my answer is no. I know you to be smart. Why do you allow emotion to affect your good judgment? Why? Mother, why can't you say this man is my happiness? Why can't you understand that? I love him. Fine, you may think that I sound selfish because I am not putting your emotions and that of that into consideration. But I can't help it. It is my decision. It is my choice. I love this man. Can't you say it? <laughs> 